Hey guys, me and Dave. It's uh, 1-10-2020, so I thought I'd do a little video tonight. Um, it is Sunday night, so as far as targeting goes, I'll, I'll get right into it. Um, I've been nailed pretty much since about 7 o'clock in the morning. It is now 10.30 at night, so I don't know how many hours that is. It's quite a few, 14, 15, 16 hours. Uh, microwaves to the head. Um... I was desperate and I did this to my hat you know this is my EMF hat I was desperate you guys you know trying to get some relief so I put a little tin foil in there I just I you know sometimes you get desperate you do desperate things um, to try to get a little relief um, I think it maybe helped I don't know you know um, you know like I say when you're desperate for for stuff um to try to you know get a break um you know you do desperate things you know silly things sometimes that look silly but um you know that's you know you think of things to do that are you know when you're in desperation so anyway uh so i got hit i'm still being hit uh microwaves to the head uh they're kind of laying off me now a little bit but um you know, you can feel it early, earlier, just a little bit ago, I could feel it, um, microwaves to the head, um, all day, you know, I was in bed pretty much all day today, um, I didn't get up and do anything, uh, I got up this afternoon, and, um, I'll tell you about this really quick, um, I moved my van, we, we have alternate parking, we, we have to move our vehicles on the, you know, switch back and forth each side of the street um, every week. Okay, so I had to go out there and move my van. So I'm like, I'm like, oh great. You know, uh, I was thinking, um, you know, I was thinking, I, I, I probably have a little bit of brake pedal. You know, it might be a little bit of brake pedal when I'm trying to move it. There's nothing there, you guys. I have no brakes. None. Zero. I have no brakes in the van. None at all. So I had to back it up. I'm sitting here just letting it idle. You know, in reverse. And then I put it in neutral to stop. So then I put it in drive. And I just went up the block a little bit. Put it in neutral. So I could stop. And reversed it. And then I kind of just backed around to my parking spot on the street. You know, and then I had to, I had to hurry up and put it in neutral so it would stop. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, I'm sitting here pressing on the brake. There's nothing there, nothing. Like, it goes all the way down to the floor, and there, there's nothing there, nothing. You know, there's nothing there. You know, um, so, uh, I have no brakes, none at all. So. That means, what that means is, I'm going to have to have it towed up to my mechanic, which is 100 bucks. Um, I don't get paid till the 3rd. It's going to have to wait till the 3rd. Um, my sister was talking about, she's like, you should join AAA, you know, and, and uh, get towing through AAA. And, uh, um, you know, I was uh, I was thinking about that. But I don't want to charge it on my credit card. So it's like, um, you know, uh, you know, I guess you could pay for it and then, and then you have to wait like four days before you can use it or something. Um, if you get the lowest, the lowest coverage, it's like 50 bucks a, a year. If you get a step up, which is a little more towing and stuff, it's like eighty bucks. It's like eighty bucks. So which I which I should eventually get that anyway. If if this van keeps on breaking down, you know. But this is the third time I've had problems with the brakes. You know. I think it's a wheel cylinder. It could be the master cylinder. I'm gonna have to go out there and check the fluid. It could be the master. You know, I, which I could do myself. I could do the master myself. I've done them before. You know, but um, 
the only thing is you have to bleed you know you gotta you gotta bleed all the brakes you know so you gotta bleed the front brakes so you, you know you gotta have someone in there pumping the brakes and bleed them out and all this stuff getting all the air out you know and you gotta do the same with the rear i don't have the tools anymore to do this stuff you know i i just i don't have the tools anymore to um to do all this stuff so I'll probably just have it towed up to my mechanic and have him do it and then um, I'll probably get my rear brakes done at the same time um, which is going to be a big bill uh, my guess is I'm not going to have enough money for all of it so I'll have to my, my relatives going to give me a, a break on rent next month so I'm not going to pay rent next month I'm gonna, that's going to go for a car repair and then uh, so I'm going to have to pay whatever I can in cash for the car repair. And then I'll have to charge the rest on my credit card. You know, so I'll kind of be back in debt, but i got to get it fixed. You know, it's um, not worth anything broke, you know, sitting there broke. So um, this should be it as far as the brakes. All the, then, then all the brakes all, all the way around will be new. I'll have a lot of new brake lines wheel cylinders and you know if it's a master you know the whole system will be new so i shouldn't have to worry anymore but i, I was thinking you know this could have been deadly i mean you know we would have went camping we would have went camping and it's downhill windy road there's like uh 20 miles of windy road back to town State through the state park. I mean, it, we could have been in a lot of trouble. You know, I told my sister that tonight. I'm like, there's no, there's no brakes at all. There's no brakes. It does not stop at all. You know, we could have been in a lot of trouble if we went camping. We were a couple hours from leaving. If we went camping, and. There was brakes when we left, and, and the brakes went out on the way home. Oh my gosh, we would have been in so much trouble. I, I you know, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Um, you'd have to try to put it in low or something, and try to go into a snowbank and try to stop or something. But it's a windy road with big, like cliffs. You know, drop offs on the side of the road and stuff. You know, because there's a uh, there's uh, woods, and then there's um, the St. Louis River runs through uh, the park. You know, so I mean, it it, it could have been deadly. We, we would have been in a lot of trouble. Somebody's looking out for me. I believe me. I believe uh, you know. I looked up there and I said, "Thank you, God, for looking out for me," because this we could have been in a lot of trouble. You know, so anyway, so that's about it. So I, you know, I'm still getting hit. Um, it's been um, well. I'll show you this really quick. Let me show you. Uh, I'll show you this really quick. Okay, so look at that. These are all the days I've got hit this month. Keeping a record of it. And we're down to the 10th. So, I didn't get it. one day off. Not one day off. Um, this month yet. You know, I didn't get one day off this month. You know, so. Uh, I've been getting hit every day since the first. And probably before that, you know. So, I'm marking it down on the calendar. And I'll write a little note in there. You know, whether I get hit hard or, um, you know, uh, you know, how many hours, you know, I'm getting hit for 15 hours, getting hit for 10 hours, whatever, you know, I'll write it down and I'm going to keep track of it this month. I'm going to do this throughout the year, uh, to see how many days I get off, you know, um, am I going to get hit, they might give me tomorrow off, I don't know, or Tuesday off. Uh, this guy seems to, um, 
work anywhere from Thursday to Monday or Tuesday possibly. Um, 12 hour shifts. They, they, that's when I really get hit when this guy's on, when this hive mind team is on. They really like to hit me. Um, another thing is, too, I've noticed is that um, I haven't checked outside yet, but I think there's been a few gang stalkers that moved out of the neighborhood. Um, there's a duplex on the next block, which I know they own. They own that duplex because there was agents in there before when I was getting hit super hard. Um, I, I mean, really, there, there really was when I was throwing, breaking cups and all the stuff. I seen the guy looking, looking out the window at the house, you know, because he knew what was going on, you know, um, when I was getting hit super hard and stuff. And there was a girl up there, too, that was probably an agent, um, she n never had any friends, no boyfriend or anything, she was, she was pretty good looking, and all this stuff, but she was up there for, I don't know, six months or a year, and then the, the married couple moved in, and they were agents, and they, they own, they do the front companies, they have two front companies and all this stuff, they own the bar, and all this stuff, and they let me kind of see all that stuff, so, what's going on with this stuff um i don't know you know what's going on is the money getting cut is it are they figuring out ways to take their money away i don't know you know it, it's um it's a big mystery you're trying to figure it out yourself they show you things you know but so there's a part-time ga uh, gang stalker upstairs of the duplex uh, there's, they have a girl there, she's not there all the time, she's not there every night, she's, she might be there two or three days a week, um, why is she there, she's not there perping me, I don't know what her job is, um, there's another, there's two more perps living down the, the alleyway, um, they're part of this, um, they don't really perp me, they're not mean to me, what is their job? Are they monitoring me? Are, you know, do they take turns monitoring me throughout the night or something? Or do they, you know, what what is their job? I don't know what their job is. What What is all these, you know, these people's jobs? I don't know. You know, there's all, you know, there's all kinds of perps around the neighborhood. I don't know what their job is. They, you know, some of them perp you, some of them slam their doors, some of them, you know, but they, but they, but some of them don't perp you, or they'll give you dirty looks, like, oh, you're, you're doing something wrong, or, you know, you're going for a ride, oh, you're doing something wrong, what are you doing going for a ride, how dare you, you know, you know what I mean, it's, um, it's unreal, so, but that's kind of what's going on with me today, you know, so I've noticed there's, there might, might be, a few gang stalkers that moved out of the neighborhood. I'll have to check, um, you know, and stuff. Um, like I say, some people are involved, but they don't really perp me. I don't know what their job is, if they just, you know, have eyes on me or what. I don't know what their job is. You know, they're not, they're not, um, they're not really perping me, but they're, but they're there, you know, and stuff. Um, you know, I mean, they might perp me a little bit if I'm, outside they might be like oh i'm gonna slam my door but they they don't make an effort to perp me you know what i mean and stuff so it's um i don't know what what all these pe i don't know what they're paying all these people for i don't know what their job is and all this stuff um so anyway i'll move on to the next thing okay so you know um somebody left a comment about the the heart attack um was i diagnosed by a doctor yes i went to the hospital i went to the er they had a whole team of people waiting for me um, it was, I don't, all my arteries are clear, I, I don't have any plaque in my arteries or anything, um, I believe it was done with directed energy weapons, they put two stents in, um, I had to go to rehab, and, uh, I was in ICU for a night, and they had a perp up there, and all this stuff, I was, uh, sleep deprived for three days after my heart attack, they kept me up the whole time I was in the hospital, so I was in the hospital, I was diagnosed and all this stuff, um, you know, and I have a healthy heart, I'm healthy, you know, but they, uh, they did cause, it was right after I, I wrote to Marco Rubio, I wrote, I wrote to Marco Rubio, 
like on a Friday. And a Saturday night, they hit me a little bit. And they said on V2K, they're like, don't panic, don't, don't do anything, don't panic. And then I went to take my dog for a walk on Sunday, and I came home, and they nailed me. So I called 911, taken an ambulance. They were working on me at the hospital. They put two stents in and all this stuff. And so um, that was that. But So I just thought I'd tell you guys about all that stuff. So um, anyway... You know, I hope you guys are doing okay, not getting hit too hard and all this stuff. And tomorrow's Monday again now, so I don't know. But um, anyway, I'm going to cut this off, and I hope you guys do well out there, and I'll talk to you later.